Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 12 of Questions and Answers. In this episode, I'll be answering five Lightroom-related questions. And it's funny, I get questions sometimes in waves. I'll get the same question from different people uh, for a while, and then that question will dry up, and I'll get a different question from multiple people for a while. And lately, I've been getting a lot of metadata questions, and our first one is from Barry. Is there some place within Lightroom that one could add a note? Yeah, it's not super obvious. If you go to the library module of Lightroom and you open up the metadata tab over here on the right panel, uh, you might not, if you have EX and EXIF and IPTC shown here or on this drop down, you'll have all this info. You might not see it, it's not readily apparent. Um, if you go to just EXIF, EXIF, you'll see it a little better. It's right here. Uh, user comment. So you could put on something this is a uh, comment and hit enter. And then you have it. You have it there. And again, you don't need to be in these uh, EXIF drop down. You could be in the EXIF IPTC drop down and it's in there. It's just a little harder to find. Uh, where is it? Under EXIF, there it is. This is a comment right there. So anyway, that's how you do it. It's 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 in the EXIF section of the metadata. Next question is from John. When adding a caption to the metadata in Lightroom, it appears that you can add multiple lines. But when I hit Enter to add a new line, it just saves what I have. Yeah, uh, the caption, of course, in the metadata tab of the library module is right here and as John is inferring, it looks like there's multiple lines here. And what most people like to do, they might like to add some camera, camera info here or where it was, and they want to put multiple lines, like one line of where it was, uh, maybe, you know, city and state or country, and then below that put, uh, you know, the date, and then below that something else, whatever. So what you would do, you would write uh, like this, this is line one then to get a carriage return and go down to the next line hold the alt or option key in. that's of course alt if you have a pc option if you have a mac then hit the enter key and you'll see how it gives you another line and then you could write this is line two and then you could just keep doing that hold that alt or option key in and then you could put in multiple lines like that and then when you're done hit enter key all by itself and then you have your caption in multiple lines all right next question is from Marcella for some reason I have multiple import presets I only use one and I don't see how I can delete the presets I don't use all right what um, Marcella is talking about if you look at the library module in the metadata tab right here at the top we have a drop down of presets and you can see I have one I call it the import preset and what Marcella is saying she has multiple ones and she'd like to delete I would assume you know all of them but one well go to edit presets then in here in this drop down up here put in the preset you want to delete now since I only have one I'm gonna choose import preset now once that is taken or chosen in this drop down then open the drop down again and you could see that there is a choice delete preset and in my case I named it import preset it will have your name there whatever you named and you'll be able to delete it just like that and that's how it's done you have to load it into here first then use the same drop down again to delete it all right our next two questions are actually from Laura during the import process to the Lightroom catalog can keywords and metadata be added to my Nikon raw net files or photos Please tell me I don't need to create DNG files to add keywords or metadata. I'm sorry, uh, you're going to have to create DNG files. The metadata in Lightroom that you would edit in Lightroom will never get saved to any RAW file, be it Nikon, Canon, or anything. Now, you can write date information. That's all you could actually modify inside of the original RAW files. And to do that, you would go up to... Lightroom catalog settings if you have a Mac it would be under edit catalog settings if you have a PC and you'd go over to this last, last tab where it says metadata and right at the very bottom where it says EXIF write date 
or time changes into proprietary raw files. If you click that, any date or time changes will get modified in the original raw file. Otherwise, nothing else. Everything else either is going to get written to the Lightroom catalog, or if you have, I shouldn't have closed that down, if you have um, this checkbox check like I do, automatically write changes into XMP, then the metadata info will be also written into that sidecar XMP file that you've created by having that checkbox checked. So unfortunately, no. Uh, that's one of the things that DNG files, are, some people consider it an advantage, that all that info gets written right to the DNG file. Um, some people don't like that. They don't like their original raw files to be touched or modified because that increases the chance that they'll become corrupted if you write to a file that's usually how it would get corrupted in the middle of a write uh, the computer crashes or something like that and then you'd corrupt your raw file and your image file's gone so anyway um, no you'd have to do it that way now the next question again is from Laura when I add more pictures outside of Lightroom into the same hard drive folder how do I tell Lightroom to see my new folders I may have added all right well Laura doesn't want to do the import process. I mean, the obvious way, you just go through import, and you could just add them to the catalog, even though you have them in the exact spot where you want them, just add them to the catalog. That does take a little while to do. There is a faster way. What you would do is you would just go over here, and let's say, for the sake of argument, that in this folder that I have here, I call it episode 12, because this is episode 12 of this questions and answers series. Let's say I added outside of Lightroom, a bunch of images into this folder. What you could do is go to the library module, go to the folder that has those images, right click on it, then go down to synchronize folder. And when you do that, it will find any images that are in that folder that are not already in Lightroom. And then you could synchronize and it will actually add them to the library. Now obviously in this folder I don't have any. Um, let's do this. I don't know, I didn't really prepare for this. But stock photos, I often add stock photos outside of Lightroom, and every now and then, here they are, every now and then, that's a wonderful site right there. Let's go to that one. Anyway, every now and then I will add them. Let's see if I have any. We'll right-click, go to Synchronize Folder, and no, I don't, so sorry about that. But that's how you would do it. And um, just go on the folder that you added them to, right-click, and go to Synchronize Folder, and you're good to go. So that's it. That answers all five of our questions for episode 12. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.